See you soon, Holly. Give our best to get out. I'll do that. Bye. Oh. Now what? The tea's still hot. Would you like a cup? Sounds good, love. Let me take care of this first. Good morning, Dr. Barman. I have a preliminary report on my examination of Hector Gerald, Commissioner. I yes. assumed you wanted my autopsy done as soon as possible. Correct. What can you confirm? Something surprising, Commissioner. There were two bullets in the body. Well, I guess that rules out suicide. Not necessarily. It could be what we call the reflex action. The first shot could have induced a spasm reflex, resulting in involuntary firing of the second shot by Gerald. See. It's rare, but it does happen. What's the time of death? I can't be precise, Commissioner, because too much time elapsed between death and discovery of the body. Well, give me your best estimate. Between one and four o'clock. What about the weapon? Captain Ramsey's ordered lab tests on the gun, but from the slugs, I'd say it was small bore, probably 25 caliber. Let's uh, get back to the slugs you found, Doctor. Two in almost the same position in the heart. Yet you still won't rule out suicide. Not with certainty. The spasm reflex is well recorded in forensic medicine. Thus, the autopsy doesn't prove suicide, neither does it eliminate it as the cause of death. Well, thank you, Doctor, and uh, thank you for the quick work. If I need to, I'll, I'll get back to you. Mr. Valentine is here, Robert. Oh. These two other men. Uh, I'm sure you'll want your privacy, so I'll make myself scared. Thanks, love. Agents Potter and Harmon. Commissioner Robert Scorpio, formerly of the WSB. I need to guess why you are here. Time, as they say, is of the essence, Robert. Isn't it always? Mm. Shall we? Your microdot. And the pencil. Very good. Harmon? Now, you should be arriving in Washington by 2 o'clock. When you arrive, take this microdot directly to our alternate depository. You understand? Yes, sir. Well, I see no reason to waste time. <laughs> 